making a keto cheesecake today. I'm also going to be doing a smoked keto cheesecake on the grill. I've had the grill at like 350 for at least the past hour. So I don't know, let's get started. Got some uh, trivia confections. And also some Bob's Red Mill almond flour. Yes, it will be keto. Yes, it'll still make you fat. I don't know, we'll start with the crust. I found this recipe online last year and really liked it. It was a big hit amongst people. Very simple. Making the crust here. If you follow the recipe to the T, you should be completely fine. If I can do it, you could definitely do it. All right, the oven is heated up to 350. My grill is sitting at 350. Be back in about 10 to 12 minutes. Here's the one from outside, the grill. Yeah, nice golden brown. I could actually probably let it go for another minute or two. But we're gonna roll with it. Set these out of the way. Now we're gonna start with the filling. Cheese for the big pie. Is it a cheese pie or cheesecake? Which one? I don't even know anymore. Now take your time when you mix the cream cheese and the erythritol powdered sugar because I ended up with some air bubbles. Not a bad thing, but if you're looking for perfection, go a little slower. Well, that's not where I wanted it to go. Looks like it's too late now. Alright, in the oven it goes. About 55 minutes. Mixing the second one, I just cut the ingredients list in half for the smaller pan. And I should have used half of an egg instead of using two whole eggs. That's my tip. But it still turned out really good. Okay, this one's about to go on the grill. See you in about an hour. A small handful of pecan chips in there. All right, let's see what this cheesecake looks like. Should be done. Oh yeah. All right, they're done. There's the one from the grill. There's the one from the oven. The oven one's already cooled. The grill one took about an hour and a half. There it is, we'll try it out. Here's the final result after being cut. Everything turned out well. My girlfriend made a really good raspberry sauce that I should have included in the video, but I don't know, here it is. It's very basic, very simple, but also very tasty.